Bro, you're so back there in the closet, you can see Narnia. <laughs> Gay! In, in combat sports, it's unusual to really hear about a gay athlete. Well, at least it was. Now everybody's coming out the closet like crazy, man. Nobody wants to be an Arnie anymore. Everybody hops out, like, I'm gay, I'm gay. So today we're just gonna go over homosexuality in sports, homosexual moments, all that backdoor action. I don't have a problem with it, because uh, Liz Carmouche, she was, you know, the first homosexual fighter in the UFC. And she, she fought in the army for us, she fought for us. So. There are some moments in sports, in sports and all sports, not just combat sports, in every sport, that kind of make you wonder, like, this is kind of, you know, passing the lines, kind of, you know, gay, why are you, why are you, why are you, why are you touching me, why are you, why are you putting on my speedos, and, you know, personal experience, why are you putting on my speedos, it's kind of weird. And I, I do kind of, I guess, the two gayest sports, I do jitsu, which is running around with men and women, but mostly men, and water polo, where you, you know, you're in a pool, where you're half naked, playing with other guys. Ha! Gay! So, I definitely have felt some, some, un, I've been in some uncomfortable situations, but I'm not a homophobe, it's just sometimes, your, your thumb shouldn't go places. Thumb in the ass, nah, thumb in the ass, and then, thumb in the ass. And in, in wrestling, this move called checking someone's oil. Uh. Where it's like, <laughs> kind of like a, I think kind of like a, it's kind of cheating, but it's kind of like a, a technical thing that it's for sure is going to make your opponent uh, squirm and feel uncomfortable. Where you're in a bad situation where you can't get out, you can't use the technique, you can't force yourself out, you get your finger, you go inside his, you know, his asshole. Uh. I make him uncomfortable and then he lets go of the position, that's where you take advantage. And sometimes at the highest level where it's like all or nothing, you're, you're the finals, you're the gold medal, people do it. And uh, I guess, I, I mean, I, I guess it's frowned upon, but I guess the job done right. And when you go to uh, to wrestling as entertainment, you know, like the WWE, man, they be doing some pretty homo shit too as well. I mean, like, they, these, these guys are like carrying other men and like, you know, putting their hands, you know, on the huevillos, you know, on the little nuts. And the little nuts, and you know they grab they grab a titty with the other hand, you know, and they're throwing it. And then I remember watching a uh, Rikishi. I don't know if you guys uh, watch it or used to follow WWE. This fucking someone with a fat ass, like like what you call fat dog, like it, it like puts a lot of girls to shame. Like I'm talking about bigger than Kim K, man. This fool made you eat his ass, man, in a corner. Damn, that fool made you eat your ass, fool. And everybody like, ah, oh, like ah, oh, fuck, this is disgusting. Imagine for a sweaty brown ass food, sweaty brown ass food in your face, food just making you eat it, food, and you don't even know what he had for your fucking breakfast that morning, dog. It's kind of weird, and even in like in combat sports that that take place, for example, in boxing, like a couple years ago, I remember Adrian Broner fought uh, Marco Maidana, and these guys were like humping each other like dogs. <laughs> Hip thrusting action, bro. Yeah, and the Rikishi guy. You know, that's kind of, it's like it's, it's stages and stuff, but that happens in jiu-jitsu all the time where you're like, you get stuck in a, you get stuck in a position, right? And you like, his ass is on your face. Ha! Gay! I guess it motivates you to kind of, you know, not get your arm broken because you don't want his ass in your face and you want his nuts in your face. Yeah, so you get stuck in some uncomfortable situation and many men, many guys can't can't be seen doing that, they can't, their pride is too big, they, can't, they don't want another guy laying on top of them, because occasion, occasionally, sometimes, it gets in a weird situation, and many, many people just don't, don't, don't have the balls, and then, they, they're not, not saying they're homophobic, but they're fucking homophobic, I mean, they're assholes. Uh, homosexuality in sports, is it growing? I, I don't think so. I think that homosexuality in sports has always been there, just the mere fact that our society wasn't really accepting gay men or gay women in sports. Or it wasn't as uh, as free as it is today to say that you're openly, you know, to be openly gay. I, I think uh, nothing has really changed, man. Just the mere fact that people are coming out more because of the way society is now structured, where you know people don't really judge you as much. Because back then there was more uh, controversy to it. Yeah, and like I said, a lot, a lot of fighters they have an ego and they have pride. So many people who are not as conservative, uh, they use this as a way to kind of get in their head. Yeah, like uh, Heath Herring. During their stare down with some Japanese fighter, the Japanese fighter actually kissed him, and that pissed his herring off. So I'm not a homosexual, I'm not a homosexual. He knocked him out. Oh, 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 oh. And then there's a there's a, a common skit, Kim Peel. I think they're mocking Mike Tyson 
and the guy said that he's gonna, f I'm gonna fuck you. Like it's like a, it's like a, like a comedy, uh, a press conference, with two boxers. I'm gonna fucking fuck you. I'm gonna eat your ass. I'm gonna fuck oh, you. Oh yeah, you seen that one? That's it, yeah, yeah that, that's like, it's exaggerated because if you know it's comedy, but that, that, that actually using homosexuality, you know, a good way to get in someone's head. And uh, well, if you're a homosexual watching us, you know, it's cool, man. Like we're not trying to make fun of you guys. We are not trying to offend anybody, man. If you like crazy butt sex, if you like crazy butt sex. A couple months ago. Uh, and the women's uh, basketball associations here in uh, here in the United States. I remember uh, one of the chicks retired because she was saying that a lot of the women that were playing basketball professionally they were uh, they were homo they were homosexuals, so they were making fun of her because she was straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like look at how far we've come in, in society. So yeah, man, like respect has to be on both levels. So we're not like I told you, we're not trying to offend you guys. If you like crazy butt sex. You like crazy butt sex. Treat, you, treat her how you want to be treated. There you go, man. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, man, that'll be it, right? Yeah, that'll be it. That'll be it, man. Uh, Just a disclaimer, we're not homophobes. Nah. I, we both, I've trained with gay people. And before, be, me, not even knowing they're gay, and I had no problem. So, no, no don't, don't hate on us because we might think we're homophobes or not. Yeah, we're not homophobes. I've, uh, I've competed against gay athletes. I. I've had gay athletes <laughs> on my team, man. It's it's cool, man. Uh, as long as they don't get too touchy here yeah, and there. Our bro. cameraman's actually gay. <laughs> so. Yeah, he's yeah. Mexican. Gay, me gay Mexican. So yeah, affirmative so. action. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Uh, our Instagram is now up. We'll probably leave uh, the link in the description now. Our Instagram is now up, up and running. Comment, like, subscribe, and if you like crazy butt sex, keep on having it.